I just got done cleaning behind my couches and wiping down my couches and I'm literally out of breath and broke a sweat. And that's what today's video is going to be a cleaning motivation and probably the most neglected area in my house. And I hope it gets you motivated to clean up those neglected areas and whew, gotta catch my breath. And I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. <laughs> Just starting with folding up the blankets and get the, getting them out of the way and I was trying to close the curtains a little bit to help for the lighting but I don't think it really made much of a difference just from the angle and the time of day so sorry about that but I'm gonna begin Dad. by pulling Dad. out the couches Dad, Dad. Dad, I'm doing Dad. what buddy oh gosh I'm doing this voiceover while feeding my son lunch so he is going to be loud in the background and so I'm just starting by pulling out the couch and then cleaning up behind it. Now our couches don't have feet, so there's nothing to get underneath them. So I don't have to worry about cleaning under there, but I haven't, I don't even know the last time I cleaned behind the couches and there was so much stuff back there. Look at Nerf bullets and beach toys and just garbage and stuff that I had thrown back there for storage when I couldn't find places for them so I just went back there cleaned that all up so that I could get to vacuuming. I don't even remember the last time that I wiped down these windows, but it was probably sometime over the summer, so they were horribly neglected. And I gave my five-year-old the camera because I couldn't figure out a good place in my living room to place it so that you could actually see what I was doing, so bear with us. But she did a pretty awesome job. She's a pretty great cameraman. So I'm just cleaning around the window frames and then cleaning the actual windows and getting rid of all the grime that's been on there for months and months and months.
see how dirty these windows were. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to even show this. I'm just going in between the cushion. Well, our cushions don't actually come off our couch. It's all one piece, but there are like crevices on the ends and then just a, like a shallow in between each cushion. So the cushions are not removable. So I was just going in and getting out any like to little toys that might fall in there. I think I found a sock in there and a couple more Nerf bullets. And so I was just going in there and then I just took the vacuum over it all and got it all nice and cleaned out. So now I'm just wiping down the entire couch, the front, the side, the back cushions, everything with my seventh generation cleaning wipes and just getting it all cleaned up. to the love seat and I'm just basically going to do the same thing again. I'm going to get it all cleaned off, pull it out, vacuum behind it, and do all the same things that I did with the first couch and make it all nice and neat. And once I'm back there, you'll see I wipe down the wall a little bit and I and there's a lot of cobwebs behind that little couch and there weren't any cobwebs behind the big one, which is funny because that's where the curtains are. So I got all, you know, the wall wiped down and everything and just basically the same process as the first couch.
my kids are such hams and they want to be all in the camera the entire time and I have to keep shooing them away. <laughs> but he just loves looking at himself while I'm trying to get stuff done in the background. Well, thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe, please. And I will catch you all in the next video. I appreciate you all. Bye.